coming at you guys live from my living room instead of the bedroom. It's LNR Flying Scotsman here. Or is that better known as Robert or Rob? And today, we got two packages here. Surprisingly, uh, the double wide old iron bridge and the pedestrian bridge have arrived. Surprisingly, I wasn't really expecting these to come in the mail today. Maybe not until next week. But it was a nice surprise for me. So, just a good way to start off the week. Because start testing is coming up. So, I'll be have to be testing uh, in, uh, in language arts, uh, English, science, history, and math. So, it's a nice way to start off the week with this. Since I'll be testing for the next two weeks. And I get out early, which is also nice. So technically, this day is already this week is already after a great day. Start so far. So um, here we got the the wide old iron bridge, and in the next box we have the PB, the pedestrian bridge. If you haven't noticed by what so what I said, this is the double wide old iron bridge. Anyway, so let's start opening up the pedestrian bridge since I got it in the mail first. Okay, so. Um, okay, well that wasn't so hard. I mean, literally, I did not make any indents beforehand, so... The pedestrian bridge, let's just take the camera off this. Actually, no, we can leave it on here. Here is the pedestrian bridge. It's a fairly nice, um, condition. Let me check what year it's, it's this from. It's dated... Aw, oh, sweet. It's dated 1996. Focus. Yeah, there we are. 1996. This, uh, this game is actually pretty good. So, um, let's look at the... So, um, let's, um, go over that. Let's open up this later. So now, let's put it here. Let's open now the double wide old iron bridge. This is going to be more of a hassle to open. I can just tell. You know. Um, box with, uh, masking with, um, some sort of brown wrapping paper, so. Um, okay, I guess we can kind of, uh, take a oh, here. Okay, well, there goes the entire shipping label. Okay, so now that we got our giant brown paper present out of the way, the actual box. Now, let's make an indent in this. Now, I guess while I'm here, I guess I can tell that this video, this video I usually dedicate videos often. That this video is dedicated to all my Twitter followers and all my subscribers. I have a total of um, almost 70 subscribers. That in the 69th position. And those better than having 68, so. Frick it! Open it! Up already! Boom! Oh, I'm naked! You know what? This is what I've been doing for the past two minutes. Sure, the pedestrian bridge was easier to open. This is surely fun. There's another layer! There's a freaking another layer of cardboard! Jesus Christ! Well, this is the box, apparently. Oh, God. I have a feeling I watched a video when someone, some, something similar happened to this before. I am pretty sure I watched a video when something similar like this happened before. Just ripping out stuff now since this is... See what has, so I don't know. Where do I even drop the camera? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh god, man, you guys are probably wondering what the hell is this? Oh, well, it's me opening up a freaking double wide line bridge. So much for protection, I guess this pretty rare items get protection even more. Well, anyways. You gotta be fucking me. Two. Okay, let's see. Okay, this second. 
because okay, let's see, we had brown Christmas present. This box I'm trying to this um this box I'm trying to open up. And now we got another box in between. Alright. And so much for safe shipping for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. I wonder why this costs 15 bucks to ship. Half of it, half the shipping cost is all going to boxes. I'm try to get this in the more than the camera, so you guys can actually get something to look at instead of my carpet. Okay, finally, this is the last. We get more brown Christmas presents. I don't want to damage the box or anything, because a little slaps are really uh, slapping out. You know. I mean. Okay. Basically, I have a lot of stuff to throw away. It's like opening Christmas presents, except there's no tree. Damn, I really gotta give it to the shell. This is really protected. And I'm such a weakling. Fucking tape. I know I've watched one of these videos and some guy had trouble opening up this, uh, stuff. You know what? I'm gonna see what shit get out. No mercy. Wow, this video's already been gone on for six minutes. It's just for me trying to open up. <laughs> maybe I should edit all this out. Uh, you know, maybe I should just stop the video right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna stop the video right here. This has gone on for way too long, much. It's about time. Our Christmas present is no more. So now, we got the double wide old iron bridge. Yeah. No, I'm trying to check the date, and it's dated 1996 as well. 96, right there. So, this is my stand. I have two 96 items right here. So I got this for a total of $41. This is for only $23. So, ugh. Ages 3 to 103, so we can keep these a little longer than our engines when we get to 100. So here's the price tag, 34.99. I'm not sure about this one, but I know I got it for a cheap price or cheaper price than that. So first, we're going to open up this Benesta Emerge. It's been busily wait, which has been busy, patiently waiting for me to open up my Christmas present, my poop Christmas present. So opening it up. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this box for sure. So the first thing we pull out is the giant double track. It's really good. It's good for like a station, I, I assume. So let's build up our pedestrian bridge here. The second thing we put out is the actual bridge itself. So right in between those two tracks there. Third thing we pull out is the signals. You know, here's signal number one. Here's signal number two. I really have no idea how these signals work, honestly. I'm not that big of a fan of signals. I only have one set of signals. And yeah, let's just dump the rest out. So here we got the workman, which is the 1996 on his uh, feet. I was surprised this is the 1996. I know that Damien has one, which is the, it's kind of like the one on this uh, box, it's the pasted man. I think he has one, though, I'm not sure. And let's put the other leg of the building right there. Uh, these look odd. Mm. Looks like I kind of got a little ripped off here, this one. It's not actually the actual pedestrian. Oh, 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 never mind. <laughs> I was holding it the wrong way. I was holding it like this instead. <laughs> Shit, I'm, I'm stupid. So, <laughs> there we got our pedestrian bridge. 
and looking really nice there. So let's move it off to the side a bit. So let's take a inside a deep look on it while I open a double wide old iron bridge. It's got some dust on it I can see from here. So let's open up our D our D I W O B I think that's what I'd I'd call it. So opening up the wide old iron bridge. Gotta be serious. More tape. I'm trying to conserve the. I'm trying to save this packaging here for later references, but I have to go through more tape. You just gotta have like a surplus of tape or something. Like, oh, I'm gonna. Ah, I'm gonna give this user some more tape. You know, I'm gonna pick this tape out with my finger now because I. I want to save this packaging for sure. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. Not being gentle. Okay. So now that we got our bridge open up, our flaps open up, we got a. Uh, it came like it's. Uh, I'm not sure if it's actually uh, like what you get with the bridge. Okay. So, so uh, over the shoulder had a lot of handling processing. Yeah, this is the shoulder, all right. So. Right next to him, got the double wide old iron bridge right here. Okay, I, mm, I stopped the video by accident. Uh, there's our old double wide old iron bridge. Here we got more tape and more accessories. Because this double wide old iron bridge conveniently came with some dramatic pause here. Dramatic. What is it? Jabbing something into its size here. Uh, okay, and let's get the other four of these out, two of these out. Yes, this double old iron, this double wide old iron bridge came with some ascending track, which is a gift by the seller as it wasn't included in the actual set itself. So, now we got the completed. Move my camera back here. Double wide old iron bridge. I actually got this for 26 bucks, and I can tell why I needed $15 extra to ship it out. Looks like this guy had a whole bunch of supplies. So, um, there's nothing inside the boxes, uh, nothing else, just dark boxes. Let's go over the double auto line bridge box here. So let me adjust the camera. Okay, this is perfect. So here's the double wide old iron bridge box. Here we got uh, Thomas, the double wide old iron bridge itself, the ascending track, Henry, James, the Sorter Bay tugboat, the special engine shed, two out of the three houses in the set, the Knapford cover bridge, the windmill, Harold, family of four figures for top of my hat, his car, man. You never get boxes like these anymore. These boxes have so much stuff inside of them. See, we rename a f pr some pretty big uh, engines here. Here we got some trees and the lighthouse and the one-way signal and Henry. So, man, these these boxes are really accurate. These boxes are, are like, really great as they show many of stuff that happens on Sodor. They really went into very deep detail with this box. I'm glad about it. So, let's take the DeWire Old Iron Bridge box aside and introduce the pedestrian bridge box. So, not much, uh, we'll see here on the pedestrian bridge. Not as in detail as dead as the, uh, the Boado Nine Bridge. Here we got some tar and fuel tankers. I'll bring you just the angle here. Move the camera back. Actually, on the box, I got the pedestrian bridge in now. Pretty helpful. Okay, so here we got Thomas and the tar and fuel tankers, the workmen, the, some family and four figures, the double track, a bridge, signals, Henry, and that includes instead the wind stairs, the other family of four figures, the top of them hat, Harold, um, trees, accessories, fresh and shit. Now the thing I've noticed from this is if you look closely, you can see here that these blocks are just normal ascending blocks, but this one over here, uh, there's a shed. It's actually the graded track risers, and here on the side are the buildings that were never released. The mysterious buildings never released, so that's pretty cool about the pedestrian bridge. Same thing with the double wide old iron bridge, except the buildings were here. Thomas wasn't there. James w 
it was Henry had his logs coming out on re on the crossing the track from here, and James was in the shed. And basically, just a little bit of uh, adjusting of items. So, let's basically look up to say about the boxes. Here are the boxes once again, stack up on top of each other. Now let's go into more detail about the double idle nine bridge some more. So it's, here we got some four ascending track that from the, at the seller uh, uh, gladly uh, they would ship out as a uh, set. Now let's go over. Um, now we have these uh, things here. Now without these, we're, we're, t we're basically screwed. If we did, if I didn't, have, if I bought this un incomplete. I'm actually glad I bought that these came with it, because if not, I think I would have been neat screwed. So I would have been really screwed if I didn't get these in with it. Man, they should they should have released these, like it, like the sawmill lock car, like the logs that's blow up. They should sell them like this, just in case. Hmm. Anyways, this bridge has its flaws. It has some cracks in the plastic, such as right here, a notable spot. And has some on these uh, magnet holes here. Let me just look for uh, one that's really bad. Here's one, the, a crack. And the rest of this is actually uh, pretty good. So, let's add these back here correctly since it came in this form. So, one. And two. Let's put one and one together. No, oh, you guys haven't seen anything of that, but that's alright. So, like, put all the ascending track back, and this video is not done yet. I have some, some more stuff in store. So now I ha I can, it, like, uh, make my layouts, like, more elevation with these four tracks, and the pedestrian bridge right there for you to neglect this, since I've been focused on the bridge more. So, this video's not done yet. I am going to move to the bedroom now, so, um, just wait until then, because I'll be, uh, putting these in my layout. So now we're walking in the bedroom. Here we have what we, uh, acquired in the mail today. Double wide old iron bridge and the pedestrian bridge. So, um, here is the layout. Oh, I got a drug digger. Nothing has changed, and I'm home alone, basically. Nothing has changed basically from the layout, but something will change. So let's uh, put this over here on top of um, Sp or North Spencer's line. Let's move um, some stuff here. Take off this track. You know that track can stay there for a while. Take away this bridge. Now let's take away this track. Try to and take away this bridge. So now what we got in store. We can take this setup part of off and put it. Oh, I see it reluctant to fit in. So uh, we gotta do some adjustment. Oh shit! Well. I never thought I'd be so glad to say this, but I actually have some stuff um, pre-saved, and I have really no idea where I just put that track, the, the ports out here there. So, I guess we'll be right back for a while. I don't know why I just recorded this. Hey everyone, well, we almost got the bridge set up, so the last piece is goes here, and there we go. It in. Come on. Yes, the bridge. The double wide old iron bridge is now open. Oh, well, it's good, Donald. Oh, okay, fine, Donald. Be like that. It's now open for business. Now we did encounter some problems while inserting the thing. The bridge, I say. Uh, first problem is that I ran out of um, two-inch track the one Donald is on, so I had to improvise with the female adapter. So let's put Douglas on the thing, and also here, uh, yeah, they're not so about that. Let's just try to fix that right here. Is this seat? Is this seat is really long for way too long than I expected it to be? Let's take away the cars being cheeky and troublesome again. And the thing, yalla yalla do. 
I said, yeah, but you were too! Okay, we got, we're gonna have to cut here. This is going way too long. So. Okay, so of course we had some incidents putting down the bridge. It wasn't too highly appreciated, but there is the bridge. Donald is the first engine crossing the bridge right now. So, um, let's see what we're gonna do about this, uh, pedestrian bridge. I can't put in the big track, unfortunately, where I was aiming to do it, where, uh, Gordon is, if you can see it from here. Yeah, where Gordon is, I can't put the bridge down there, so... We're gonna have to improvise, so I'll just put down the actual bridge, so... Uh, let's walk over there, so... So, the bridge will be the rest of the ports here. So, here, we're on, behind Spencer's line now, is where the bridge is going to be. So, there we go, so... Let's put down everything I need, the workmen and the stairs. So, we're gonna have to make room from Birdie. Sorry, Birdie. Kicking you out. The stairs here. And the stairs there. The station will be right there. And the workmen. Right there where everyone can see them. Just get the signal out of his face. And Birdie, the bus will go down to here in front of the station. So now that we got the double auto iron bridge set up, we have some spare track. We got two four inch track from where I was keeping the other blue bridges. The other blue bridges here are overused. Pedestrian track and the extra for a standing track. So this is the end of this video. Oh, this long video. So now we have the Dubois Lodine Bridge, pedestrian bridge. Our Christmas party, so to speak. And this is the end of this video. So thank you guys for watching this long video. And with now, I don't know what I'm